at the marshall center prior to the april twenty first explosion at edwards propulsion system testing of the first f one production engine continued with five firings for a total main stage time of one hundred ninety six seconds the second production engine was delivered to marshall by rocket dine on april first quality lab completed its receiving inspection on april fourteenth and the engine was delivered to test lab where it is undergoing pre-test preparation. Overall construction of the F1 engine static test stand at Marshall has reached 80% completion with beneficial occupancy due next quarter. Rocketdyne's first J2 production engine was accepted by the Marshall Center this quarter. The engine was turned over to Douglas Aircraft for use in captive tests associated with S-4B battleship stage work. A series of engine system static tests was conducted during this report period to demonstrate full gimbal capability as well as safety limits, malfunction, and full propellant utilization valve operation prior to entering PFRT. The engine was gimbaled twice to a seven degree limit in four different planes with three passes in each plane and to a 10 degree gimbal angle in the corners on another test. A full scale mock-up, 260 inches in diameter, of the Saturn V instrument unit was under construction at the Marshall Center during the report period to assist engineers in proving out designs related to electrical cable length and routing, instrument and bracketry fittings, and the IU cooling system. The mock-up is now about 50% finished. International Business Machines' new facilities at Huntsville will be the site of Saturn V IU engineering and checkout work. IBM was selected by NASA this quarter as lead contractor for development and fabrication of the IU. The first computer and computer tester, an early development model of the flight configuration equipment depicted in this artist's drawing, was accepted this quarter from IBM for use in the IU breadboard. Construction of the Saturn V dynamic test stand at Marshall is now approximately 80% complete. Beneficial occupancy is scheduled in August. At Marshall's Saturn V ground support equipment test facility, depicted in this artist's drawing, brick and mortar construction is approximately 35% finished. The technical systems contractor is approximately 85% complete with all equipment scheduled for delivery by June. Installation of the technical systems is scheduled to start in July. At Marshall's Mississippi Test Facility, construction is continuing under three main complexes. The test complex, including excavation and foundation work on the S1C dual position static test stand and the two S2 static test stands. The laboratory and engineering complex which includes the office and administration building and the telephone and terminal building. And the support services complex, which encompasses such facilities as the emergency services building, the MTF warehouse, the site maintenance building, the central heating plant, and the electrical substation. Work also progressed steadily on the various roads, railway facilities, river channels, docks, canals and bridges which comprise the MTF transportation system. 